when it comes to getting the job done, sometimes you just need a little extra help. That's where these come in handy. From the largest train in the world to massive excavators that can move 15,000 tons of material with each scoop, here are 11 most massive machines. But first, we'd like to thank Brutal Stipes for leaving us this comment on our 18 Places You're Not Allowed to Visit video. We're working hard on getting that golden plaque and it should be coming pretty soon. Let us know which machine you think is the craziest and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 11, NASA Crawler. NASA needs a way to transport massive vehicles before they are launched. In order to do that, they need a massive machine. This is a huge, tracked vehicle used to transport vehicles such as Saturn rockets, Apollo, Skylab, and all kinds of space shuttles. The crawler weighs an unbelievable 2,721 tons and has eight tracks. These are two different tracks on each corner. These little tracks are called shoes and each shoe weighs roughly one ton. It's about 131 feet in length and measures 114 feet in width. This thing could certainly slow down traffic on the highway and it doesn't have the best gas mileage. It eats up about 125 gallons per mile. It also doesn't get the nickname of crawler for nothing. Its max speed only reaches one mile an hour. It's currently being held at the Kennedy Space Station in Florida, and it has its own weatherproof hangar to protect it from hurricanes. Total cost of this master machine? Oh, just about 14 million. Number 10, the Antonov AN-225. Possibly the largest aircraft ever constructed was the Antonov AN-225 Maria, which first took flight in 1988. You can certainly tell the photographer probably went through a lot to get this photo. This extremely massive aircraft was specifically designed to launch spacecraft, such as the one we see here, known as the Buron, on its back. How much does this behemoth weigh, you're probably asking? 628,000 pounds without the spacecraft. Yeah, it's pretty big and it can reach speeds of 528 miles an hour. The wingspan stretches an amazing 291 feet, and there are so many specs that are quite interesting about this aircraft. It's also the first airplane to take off with a total weight of 1 million pounds. Since the end of the Cold War, it's been used for various other reasons, and it still has very good potential as a transport vehicle. In some cases, the US government even used it to transport military supplies to the Middle East. You can also probably imagine this thing eats up quite a bit of fuel. Number 9. The Fast Telescope This massive observatory is set up in China, and it seems to resemble the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico. The giant radio telescope in Puerto Rico was the largest single aperture telescope when it was completed in 1963 until 2016. Finally, the Fast Telescope opened up and is ready to start scanning the skies for otherworldly objects. Fast stands for 500 Meter Aperture Spherical Telescope. Located in southwest China, it measures 500 meters wide. That's about five football fields. The larger the dish, the more radio waves it can collect, meaning more data can be processed with better reception. It's searching for signs of extraterrestrial communication and intelligence, and it seems as though it will be the best structure of its kind for the next 20 to 30 years. Number 8. Giant Gundam Robot Japan is one of the most technologically advanced countries in the world, so you better believe they got some pretty big robots. In Tokyo, you'll encounter one of their strangest tourist attractions, which features a gigantic 60-foot robot overlooking the harbor. It's almost like you'd expect to see Godzilla get in a fight with this thing. Right now, it's mainly made of plastic and isn't programmed to destroy humans just yet. It does have the ability to shoot out smoke and laser beams and has limited motion. It's able to move its arms around and dance to disco music. For just a small fee, visitors can have their photo taken with a giant robot and proceeds go towards helping tsunami victims. Number 7. The GE AC 6000 CW This massive train we see here is one of the largest diesel-electric locomotive trains in the world, and it has a dual 6,600 horsepower engine to back it up. This was designed with the pure goal of getting the most horsepower possible. It's 76 feet long, 16 feet high, and 10.5 feet wide. With a full tank of fuel, this train weighs an astonishing 425,000 pounds, which means you certainly don't want to get in its way. In terms of technology, it's quite advanced and is powered by a 16-cylinder diesel engine. Everything about the engine is huge as well. 
the pistons it uses are about five times bigger than a semi-truck you'd see on the freeways. The diesel engine also produces electric energy, which helps increase its rotor power. It can hold roughly 5,500 gallons of gas, which is plenty to help it get to its next destination. In 2001, it set the record for being the world's heaviest and longest train in the world. Number 6. The Bell AZ75710 This humongous dump truck is the world's largest and has the highest payload capacity of any vehicle in its class. The vehicle has two diesel generators and 4,600 horsepower. The 75710 was also designed to save power. When the truck carries a load, it has two engines going, but when the truck is going to pick up its burden, it only uses one engine. The Belarusian manufacturer, Bell AZ, had to create a new facility just to construct the mammoth machines. The company sent the first completed model to southwestern Siberia, one of the largest coal mining areas in the world, in 2013. It has an empty weight of 360 tons and is 27 feet high. You better believe this thing can easily run over a few automobiles if it ever got the chance. Number 5. Large Hadron Super Collider also commonly referred to as CERN, this expensive experiment in Switzerland is dedicated to solving one of Earth's never-ending questions. How was the universe created? So answering a question like that is going to require a pretty big machine as you can probably imagine. It's actually the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator and they're trying to see if they can recreate the Big Bang. Many scientists believe that 13 billion years ago, all matter as we know it today was concentrated into particles which began expanding over time after a collision. CERN has made huge advancements in physics, but many believe they're kind of playing with fire here. An estimated price tag for the funding spent here is a whopping $13.25 billion. That's about a dollar for each year the universe has been around. About 17 countries joined in on the funding, and there's also donations from private organizations to fund this revolutionary project. Number 4. Yamato and Musashi these two Japanese battleships were the heaviest battleships ever made and could display 72,800 tons. Named after the ancient Japanese province of Yamato, they were armed to the teeth and designed to counter the strong U.S. Navy. They were kind of hoping that size would be more important than quantity because the U.S. vastly outnumbered them in battleships. It had several large 46-centimeter cannons that could attack quite a few enemy boats at one time. It carried 24 25-millimeter guns that were used to take out any enemy planes. It reached a max speed of 31 miles an hour. The Yamato and its sister actually did not see too much action because the Japanese were hoping to keep its design a secret for a while and it was more commonly used as a transport barge. The large vessels currently lie at the bottom of the ocean, about 180 miles or 290 kilometers southeast of Kyushu. Number 3. Typhoon Class Submarine The Typhoon is the biggest active submarine and can displace 48,000 tons of water. It measures 175 meters long or about 574 feet. While other subs may have to worry about running out of fuel at some point, crew members can stay on board for 120 days at a time comfortably, but can for years without refueling. It's also designed to travel under ice and can literally break the ice above them. It carries 20 intercontinental ballistic missiles and all are armed with nuclear warheads. If that didn't seem like enough firepower to you, it also has four torpedo tubes with a total of 22 anti-submarine missiles. These tubes can also be used to launch mines. We should really do our best to not get Russia mad at us. They take their submarines very seriously. Number 2. Fremont Street Screen The largest continuous LED screen in the world is actually located in Las Vegas at the Fremont Street Experience. During the day, many tourists might not notice this massive installation covering the street during the day, but at night, it puts on one heck of a show. It's known as Viva Vision and is close to 1,500 feet in length, standing 90 feet in the sky, and there's over 12 million lights total. It's also the biggest big screen in the world. It takes some big machines to control all these lights. The project costs about $17 million and animates many different scenes in the sky like nothing you've seen before. And over 17 million people each year come to visit it. With all those flashing lights, they better hope no one has a seizure. Normally, some music is playing for the lights to dance and unique shows are put on quite often. And number one, the Bagger 293. Built in Germany in 1995, this bucket wheel excavator is the largest land vehicle by weight in the world. RWE Power AG, the second largest energy producer in Germany, uses the machine in a coal mine near Hambach. 
The impressive piece of equipment stands a record 315 feet tall, is 738 feet long, and weighs 31 million pounds. Despite this thing being pretty massive, it only takes five people to operate. The excavator can move 240,000 cubic meters of soil each day, and has made it to the Guinness World Record book for being the highest and tallest terrestrial vehicle. It also weighs a whopping 31 million pounds, or about 2,000 adult elephants. The massive machine was constructed in 1995 with a few sibling vehicles or smaller sized baggers. If you've ever played Call of Duty Black Ops, it looks fairly similar to a machine found in the multiplayer level called Radiation. The wheel is about 70 feet in diameter and each bucket can lift 15,000 pounds of material. Which massive vehicle did you find to be the most impressive? Let us know in the comments section and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video.